Hey guys, this is Vicki with Southern Cross Recreations. Really cute craft tonight. This was a ornament from Dollar General. And then my spring uh, placemat. Now you can use different things um, that I'm gonna be using for this. Uh, you can use material or all kinds of things. These little wood doll uh, bodies. And then you're gonna need some raffia, some ribbon, and your hot glue gun. Literally, that's all y'all. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ornament apart. It is plastic, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. So this would be a really great kid's craft as well. Now what I'm doing right here is pulling this placemat apart and cutting it. It is like rice paper um, is what these are made out of, I believe. And I'm just unrolling these because I'm going to use this for the uh, for Mary, Joseph, and for baby Jesus for their um, the wraps around them. Now, you could use just regular material. You could use tissue paper. There's all kinds of things that you can use. So um, I know you won't be able to find these placemats right now, but when spring comes, make sure that y'all look for these because I use this thing all the time for different things, and there's so much material there. So the first step I did is I just wrapped this little piece around um, Mary there and then pull it to and then take another little piece, and then we're going to tie it off as her little robe there. Obviously, it's not finished right there. We're going to trim it all up and make it look nice. The next step we're going to do is we're going to make a bed of hay for baby Jesus. And we're going to just take that raffia, go back and forth about the size of our lid. We will trim it down and then take a piece of the raffia and actually tie it off. I took my scissors and I just trimmed it up a little bit so it'd be kind of look like little pieces of hay. That's how it came out. Now, I wanted to do another smaller little piece to go crossways in the little uh, lid because that actually, you can see the hole there and I didn't want that to be seen. So I kind of lay one one way and then I lay one the other way. Just hot glue those in there and then I trim them up just a little bit. Y'all, this is a super sweet and easy craft, great for kids, um, and it just gives them, you know, an idea of the true meaning of Christmas. I went ahead and hot glued those into my lid, and then this for Joseph, I went ahead and folded that and just kind of made it like it was a, like a wrap around him, took some twine, and then tied it off as it looks like little rope. I want to take a minute to thank you for being here. I really appreciate you being on my page. And if you like this, please pass it down the road for me, which means share, like, and all of the things. But look how cute this is coming out, y'all. And this is so simple. And it just it really doesn't take a whole lot of um, supplies, but it just comes out super sweet. Now, you, there's so much that you can do with this. I'm just trying to give you some ideas and inspire you. And I mean, you could do, you know, snow on here. You could get little stars to put on the inside of the container. You could hang a star from the in, from the inside of it, like the Star of Bethlehem. Oh, there's just so many things that you can do. Now, all I did was I just folded this bow and did some loops. I just wanted to kind of decorate the top just a little bit. And so it's just a really simple bow that I'm tying to the top. Just hot glue it to the very top of your uh, ornament. And then just, I just use the very same ribbon to do that. And look how sweet this came out, y'all. I just thought it came out super sweet. And it's just something that would just catch the uh, um, lights on your Christmas tree. And I hope you like this. For more, you can visit southerncrossroadcreations.com. Thanks, guys.